Hello, I'm Patrick Nevison, and today we'll be showing you some of the things you'll need to know before installing a Sabertooth Pier Bracket. Here we have our Sabertooth Pier Bracket beneath the footing. Also our reinforcing sleeve. The Sabertooth reinforcing sleeve has these locking wedges which will lock the sleeve into the pier bracket. The wedges need to face towards the wall during installation. We have a cutoff guide, which will give us the extra stroke needed to fully seat the reinforcing sleeve. And finally, the starter tube. Now that we have everything set up, we're going to run our first stroke. We'll use the shorty to finish out the first drive. Here you can see the locking wedges being seated into the pier bracket. This is going to create a very stable pier we can continue to push on. Now the cutoff guide can be removed. Now we'll go ahead and finish driving the starter tube. I don't have any blocking and the frame barely settles when pressure is removed. Now we'll just drive pins like we would on any other pier until we reach pressure. Thanks for sticking around. If you'd like to know more about the Sabertooth Pier Bracket, you can visit safebasementsinc.com slash sabertooth. See you next time.